This video will quickly go over using nose and scar wax for noses and scars. For the nose, I start with Prose Adhesive. I apply it to the areas of my nose where I will stick and blend out the wax. Once it's dry and clear, I apply a blob of nose and scar wax and I start smoothing out the shape with both my fingers and some sculpting tools and dental tools. I use Vaseline on both the tools and my fingers to keep the wax from sticking to them. I can either apply more wax or take wax away to correct the shape as I'm going along. This one was done quite quickly, but if you take your time, you can get nice edges and a realistic finish. I also use a stipple sponge to try and give it a skin texture and take out any excess shine. To colour match it to my face, I'm using Skin Illustrator Light Flesh Tones palette. First I used a coral adjuster to put some pinks back into my face, then a really light layer of rose adjuster because it's a bit more blue toned, and then rice paper to lighten it to my skin tone. And there are so many ways that you can change your nose shape or size, which will in effect change the look of your whole face for different characters and different makeups. For the scar, it's easier to make a raised scar with wax than it is to make an indented one. So I will start again with Prose-Aid and then roll up a little sausage of wax just to press down into it. And remember to keep it subtle and small because this greatly adds to the realism. Using Vaseline and a spatula, I blend out the edges into my skin. And once you're happy with that shape, it's time to color match. Uh, this one is pretty close to my skin tone, but I added a little bit of rice paper to slightly lighten it. And there you have it, some quick, simple things that you can do with nose and scar wax that I hadn't yet covered on my channel. Thanks for watching, I'll come back shortly with my Sculpt Gel Silicon videos.